I'm Dispersed Cameraman Mark, and I'll be giving you an interior tour of my 2005 Lance Model 845. As you're coming through the door, here's what the camper looks like. And we're going to start with the refrigerator. Here's our truck camper refrigerator. Here are the controls. It's a three way control system. You get the battery, the uh, plug in, gas, then the off. There's a spark in order to ignite the, uh, the flame. And you have controls here. The book says to keep it at four, so I keep it at four. It does phenomenal. I've got to fix that squeak. <clears throat> These trays right here come out. They have to wash on the sink. They start to get a little dirty. I have two of them right there. You can adjust them. There's a freezer. It does get cold. Actually, you can freeze ice in there, which is pretty neat. I like it. Yeah, there's a fans back there. It is getting a little iced up just a little bit. I got this little thermostat. At, uh, I believe I got it off of Amazon. It works good. It lets you know what the temperature is. In case it drops too hot. I know something's wrong. Something ain't working right. Got this little thing right here. Lifts up. I should uh, fit some milk in there. Or you can fit a pitcher of tea. Kept in handy. Keeps it stable. Here comes that squeak. Down here you got some storage. Keeping stuff up in there. There's a cool storage apartment right there. Got this little box, a wooden box. Keep some junk in there. I need on camping trips. I got this little stainless steel trash can. Come in handy out there. Dispersed camping. I believe I got that at Walmart. Got a little trash bag in there. Just enough space. Got this little telescoping broom. Some of you out there might have one like this. Very convenient to be able to sweep out the truck camper. I also bought this right here. Or to store bags in. Bag, a little plastic Walmart bag. Come in handy. Carry some extra stuff. Uh, extra trash if I need to. I like that. Uh, it's also a stainless steel imitation, most likely. Can have enough clips in the lance. Pretty neat. Swing right here to the dinette. This dinette, as most of you probably already know, actually make out into a bed. I'm 6'1", 6'2", and I can probably sleep on it. I never have. But for some kids or shorter people, it would be real good. <clears throat> Makes it out to the bed. This table actually drops down. And take this, actually take this table out. Store it somewhere else. And this thing right here comes out. <clears throat> covers this space. But if you look, it is a little off center. Well, what about that space up there? Lance got it figured out. It actually slides out. Make you almost pretty much a full bed. Rearranging cushions. Also, probably most Lance owners don't know, is this right here. Where you put your feet out while you're sitting in the dinette, actually comes up in a little secretive storage cubby underneath this. I got some trash bags in there. A nice little compartment in there, store some stuff. And above the dinette, got this storage space up here. Got some, uh, Plastic bag or storage bowls. Got a little uh, 
heater right there for the winter months. Got a nice little storage compartment right there. Got my cast iron, fry daddy, crock pot, extra stuff. Oh, I got a live straw. You guys got to get a live straw, especially with dispersed camp. It could become a lifesaver. I also store my bottle of water up here. Let me get some more bottled water. Also, these latches right here. That latch right there. That latch right there. Just pull them. This whole area comes down and it lands on these support right here. That could be a third bed. But the directions and instructions also say nothing over 85 pounds. So probably a small child could fit up there. It'd be another kind of like a bunk bed. That'd be really cool. Got this nice window right here sitting down there in the uh, dinette. Be looking out at nature. Got one back there. Over here, got a nice clock. This is actually for an RV. Actually mounts to the wall. Just lift up on it to change the battery or change the time. It's a thermostat for the propane heater. Swing back around here. Got this Accurite forecast, which I don't think the date's right. It is Thursday though. Time's off a little bit. I reset that. I think I got a dead battery. Let me change that dead battery. I got this, I believe. Yeah, I got it Velcroed. Probably a nail and Velcroed to the uh, wall. I believe somebody gave me this one. I don't think you can see it or not. Yeah, I'm fishing. Got some fish on there. Got some little lures. Actually, no, those are bobbers. And a couple of lures on it. I thought that was a neat, neat little thing. Do it my truck camper. I got this. Remind me when I'm out there uh, deer hunting. When I walk out the door, I'll see that. I say, I don't want to be a vegetarian. I better get a deer. Vegetarian. Oh, any word for bad hunter. I believe I got that velcroed to the wall too. It's the back door. So just, if you want less light in here, just slide down. It goes right there. Just lift up on it. I also purchased this. I want to say Amazon. I might have bought it locally. Can't remember. It has uh, four screws. It goes into the actual screen of the door. A little nice little handle. We can throw some towels on there. Let them air dry. This thing right here is pretty neat. Right here. If I lift this up and keep it up right here, I can actually see through the back of my glass, my driver's mirror, rear view mirror. I can see the traffic in back of me. It's kind of those, uh, I don't know, concave, makes magnifies everything in back of you. It's really nice to have, especially traveling down the road. This right here, <coughs> Velcro to the wall. This is an Atwood Mobile. It uh, actually operates my jacks. I do have electric jacks. Uh, my last camper, uh, I think the Sunlight, <coughs> did not have manual jacks. I hated it. So these electric jacks come in handy, real easy to download, upload. You can uh, control each, indo each individual jack or you can control all jacks at the same time. This is nifty. <coughs> Before I can operate the remote for the jacks, down here, hopefully you can see that, is for the camper jacks, is activate the remote. Activates the whole system, then I can operate the jacks. Then uh, you can turn it off when you're done with it, or after a certain time, it uh, turns off automatically. <clears throat> I found this walking out in the woods. It was late evening, underneath a canopy of trees. And I saw it from a distance, probably 15, 20 feet away. When I first saw it, it reminded me of a peeled potato. I was thinking, what is a peeled potato doing out in the middle of the woods? So I walked over there and picked it up. It was a rock. It looks like quartz. 
maybe some crystals in it. I thought that was neat. So I kept it. It'll be right here next to my back door. This pretty neat little rock, I thought. Got some little uh, clips right here, hold some stuff. Usually I keep my keys on here. Flashlight or headlamp. I just open the door and grab it and go. That's why I like keeping it right here in this area. So here's my fire extinguisher. I probably need to check it. It's probably as old as a camper. I'm going to check that later on, make sure it's still good. So here's a door to the bathroom. I got a pretty nice little uh, mirror I'll use every once in a while. I'm going to turn on the bathroom light. It's right here. It's sort of pretty operate on my outdoor my bathroom lights. You got your exterior lights, uh, left, rear, right, and you got your docking lights. Docking lights are two very bright back lights in the back of the camper. Uh, they are very bright. I really like that, especially when I need more light. You got lights on each side of the camper, plus another one on the rear. Comes in handy. Go in the bathroom. <coughs> On the back of the door, you got some hangers. So you got some towels on there. Pretty, I like that. Let me keep them on there. Hang your towels to dry them up. And as you go up in there, it's the bathroom. When I after I take a shower, immediately after I get done taking a shower, I actually grab my squeegee it's hanging on the wall. And I will squeegee the whole shower down, keep all the water in the bottom, squeegee it all down on the walls, I'll bring it all the way down, and then I'll squeegee the bottom. <clears throat> the reason why I do that is, if not, all the water on the wall will drip down, go to the bottom, and I have to get up in the middle of the night or whatever to use the bathroom, and my feet get wet. don't like to do that, so I try to keep it um, squeegees, not as... Uh, get rid of all the water as soon as possible. Also, it cuts down on condensation. You do not you want as less amount of condensation in your bathroom as possible. I don't want that mold spores getting up in the air. Got a vent right here. I don't have a fan in it. <clears throat> and I'm planning on getting one in there. I think I had this out and I was cleaning the, the screen off. I saw 12 volt wires up in there somewhere. I think it would be easy to put a vent in there. If I ever want to put one in there. I'll probably do that soon. There used to be a rod right here. Stretched across. I guess they use, uh, once when you use it as a secondary closet or whatever. I don't hang clothes up. So I took that out and gave me more room in the bathroom. Uh, there was, there did come a uh, probably a cheap, flimsy shower thing right there. I replaced that with a pretty much a little bit more higher quality shower. I really enjoy using this. It's real nice. A brighter spray. This right here is a little cubby hole and this is where you keep your TP. For this TP right here, what I would suggest is don't buy the RV TP which you buy at the uh, big box stores. And it's kind of pricey. What I buy is anything that's septic safe like a home toilet would be perfectly fine for your RV. So get that septic safe toilet paper, save you some money. And here, I don't use these RV toilet treatment drop-ins anymore. Uh, I think I saw on Facebook or YouTube or somewhere that people have been using uh, like a cup of laundry detergent. I've been using that for a month now and it's working pretty good. I mean, I think it's a lot better than the, this stuff. This stuff can be pretty pricey, so I would definitely uh, try the, a cup of laundry detergent. Save you some money. Uh, right back there is the shower for the outside. You got all the plumbing up in there. Uh, oh, this right here is for the heater when the heater's on, like in the winter. This here, actually, the heat will actually come out of this vent. <coughs> Lens top of everything. I love this right here, especially the doors closed for a while, and uh, it actually stays warm in here from this heater. You can adjust it up or down. I try to keep it down, make sure no water 
leaks down in there from the shower because this is a, uh, a wet bath. Everything in here gets wet. This is the uh, medicine cabinet. Uh, I think I got some sent away. Got that stuff in there. And I got some lotion. This right here. This right here come with the uh, camper. And so when you're traveling down the road, in case this thing pops open, this door pops open, keeps everything in there. It works out pretty good. I've never had this thing pop open or any of this stuff fall out. Works real good. Let's go outside here. Close that. Turn the light off. This just got some uh, storage. This right here was originally, I believe, Lance wanted as a closet. Got the uh, rail right here to hang your clothes. What I did was actually put shelves in it. I got this at a big box store, this wood, cut it up to size. And I got some brackets right here, holding it in there. So it's pretty solid, got no problems with it. Put some of this stuff on here, keep it a little bit clean. Also, well coat it in so it won't slide around. Same as this, got some Velcro on each four of the corners. It's working. This is where I mainly keep all my food. These two shelves. And then my pots and pans. I don't like using these types of uh, pots. I usually cook with cast iron. I'll show you them in a little bit. <clears throat> on the door, it shows you how to make the uh, dinette into a bed. Pretty simple instructions. I've actually had to use them because it's kind of confusing once you match up the mattresses. Down here we got some more storage. Right here, this is a junk drawer. Need to clean that out. Of course, odds and ends up in there. Next, we have our propane heater mounted on the wall. Which I don't use this at night because it's very loud. I'm talking very loud. I mean, I'm kind of a light sleeper. And as soon as this thing kicks on, wah! I mean, it's real loud. I'm trying to figure out how to replace the fan in it. I think it's the fan that's making all the noise. Uh, if you may have heard of anybody replacing the fan in this to make it quieter, drop me a comment or direct me the right way on the internet so I can figure out how to replace that fan and make it a little bit more quieter. And down here I have a uh, Wave 3 catalytic heater. And uh, I keep it covered up so it won't uh, get dirty or nothing like that because this stuff right here gets dirt in it it won't work. So if you do have one of these make sure you cover it if it's not in use. You have a big uh, maintenance bill on your hands. This right here sips the propane. It's real convenient. I love it. But uh, this one sips the propane. This one chugs the propane. Sips, chugs it. So if you can, what you should do is get a Wave 3. If you do a lot of dispersed camping in the winter months, this right here will come in a lot handy and save your uh, propane reserves. But during the uh, day, I will wear, I will use this because it does heat up the truck camper pretty fast. This right here takes a while because there's no fan on it. It's quiet, and it, like I said, it'll take a couple, a couple more minutes, probably about 30 minutes to start getting going on. And after that, it works pretty good. Let me put this back on. All right, so leave that right there. Up here, I got some more storage up here. The microwave storage. I do my uh, paper towels around the microwave. Microwave comes in handy. Ah, oh, there's my ice trays. I got some ice trays. So I do go out there, storm in the freezer, freeze up. Have some good ice. These are my uh, keep out my spices. I do have the AC on. It's kind of warm up in here. You got this coffee pot right here. I like the uh, digital one because I can have coffee as soon as I wake up. And it's already made. 
does help me wake up smelling it brewing first thing in the morning. Uh, two sink basin, hot cold. Keep my uh, hand soap, or dish soap underneath the sink. A little bit more space for storage. I also have a backup of coffee pot in case I'm not hooked up. Do that on a propane propane stove and back here when I'm winterizing I should flip this over and this hose comes out and I drop into a uh, gallon of antifreeze and it winterizes my lines for the winter very convenient up here is the bed Use that step up onto the bed. And up here, I have a uh, flat screen TV. This is a uh, shore power or 120, 110 electrical, or it can be ran on uh, battery. Right now, I have it hooked up on battery, and then I'm hooked up on shore power, recharge the battery. I really like this RCA. I think I got it from Amazon, 12 volt. Pretty nice. Uh, got some uh, storage right up here, door. Some more storage down there. I do have an endless breeze fan, 12 volt. It's real nice, I like it. I pretty much use that for uh, what you call ambient noise. Lock out all the noise around me so I can get to sleep at night. Another one, storage closet. And I have this built in. <clears throat> Put a little cabinet in there. <clears throat> well, that's about it. Well, if you got any questions or comments, just uh, leave me a comment in the uh, comment section and I'll get back with you. Thanks for watching.